Hey, everybody. I think I'm live here. Oh, there we go. They changed everything on me. We're live. Hey, welcome to the Executive Roundtable for Women Leaders. If you haven't met me before, or if you're new to this group, let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Robin McKay. I am the founder of this group. I have a PhD in counseling psychology and have been working as an executive coach for um, women leaders in tech and healthcare, mostly physicians and engineers, but other people in financial tech as well. And um, for I've been doing this for a long, long time, but I have to tell you since um, all of the stay at home orders and the things that are going on in our world right now, um, they've called for a different part of my skill set that I'm bringing to you guys now. And I have to cough, excuse me, sorry. <coughs> Holy moly. Um, I just had a protein shake before I came on, on screen. That was the reason for the cough, nothing else, people. Um, anyway, so today I've been really listening to you guys, actually not just today, but in the past couple of weeks to see what you really, what's really needed here. And sometimes the thing is people aren't always, they don't always know exactly what they need. They know what they don't want. They don't want to feel stressed all the time. They don't want to wake up with pounding chests and sweaty palms. They don't want to be constantly worry, 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 worry. They don't want to be exhausted all the time. They don't want to be overwhelmed all the time. You guys know the drill about that. So we know what you don't want, but sometimes it's not always easy to articulate what you do want. So in my experience during times of stress, what most talented leaders really want is a couple moments of peace. That's it. We just want a couple moments of peace, a couple moments of relief. And by the way, if you're watching me live, I'd love to hear from you. Any ahas you're getting from this, this time we have together, if you're watching the recording or listening while you're driving, um, let me know that you're finding this information that I'm going to be sharing tonight and for the next week or so, maybe indefinitely, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Um, let me know if you're finding it useful because that's what my intention really is to be for you guys right now is just to be a contribution to a few moments of peace. The other thing that I know that women leaders always want is a little bit more space. So that's what this time is for you right now is to just reset, reconnect, revitalize a little bit so that you can go back out there and do it all over again tomorrow. There doesn't seem to be an end in sight. I know that that can be part of the challenge. And yet what I want to assure you is that in every moment, there's an opportunity to come back to yourself. There's a moment to find peace. There's a moment to find quiet. There's a moment to find solitude. And that's what this time is about tonight. Now, what you may not know about me is that I did my postdoc in mindfulness practices at the University of Missouri many, many years ago. And one of the things that I've become quite adept at and is um, training and teaching people how to use mindfulness practices as a daily part of their lives. Now, I know everybody, mindfulness is one of those words that we're kind of batting around and you can see that word on magazine covers and people want to be a mindful leader and we don't really know what that means. So Angie says, oh my God, yes, a break. Yes, that's exactly what you guys need is a break. And so that's what we're doing tonight. So with mindfulness practices, first of all, the thing that you need to know about mindfulness is mindfulness just means paying attention on purpose with an open heart and without judgment. That's it. Pay attention on purpose, open heart, without judgment. Do you know how hard that is to do? I mean, after all, I've been talking for about four minutes now, and I'm pretty sure that every single human who's either listening to us now and with us live or listening to the recording has drifted off a bunch of times, even as you've been trying to be present for this training. So we do that. Our mind is constantly going. And when we're under chronic stress, long-term stress, and there's no end in sight, the chances that you're really being present, open-hearted and non-judgmental in any, in any given moment are pretty slim. Until now, and you don't have to judge what you've done before, you can just be aware of it. 
And, you know, the other purpose to me of mindfulness is just to be practicing kindness and compassion to yourself. That's it. So I want to take you through just a brief mindfulness practice. It's going to clear a little bit of space for you. And I'm going to keep talking about this stuff every day. I'm going to get on here at 5 p.m. Pacific time. We'll do, I don't know, 5, 10, 15 minutes, something like that, just to give a little bit of a break so that you can get up and go again. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my mindfulness bells here. And the first mindfulness practice we're going to do is just listen to the bells. So in this practice, what I want to invite you to do right now, just take a deep breath in and let it go and take another big deep breath in and let that one go too. I'm going to ring the bell just once, but I want you to just listen to the sound of the bell ringing until you can't hear it anymore. Ready? And we'll do it again. One more time. Now, I just want you to just notice what you notice. For example, I notice the sound of the bell, the sound of the bell fading, and then the quiet that followed between that and the next bell. And I noticed inside of me that I feel a little bit more steady, all from just listening to the ringing of a bell. So breathe in love and grace right now. Take a deep breath in of love and grace. <sighs> and breathe out everything that doesn't serve you. And do that again. And put your hand on your heart. And one more big breath. If you can close your eyes, do so. As long as you're not driving your car or out in a place where it wouldn't be safe to do so. And breathe in and breathe out. And then the practice of mindfulness is just knowing when you're breathing in and knowing when you're breathing out. And do that one more time. You know, there's so much to learn about mindfulness, and we're going to have plenty of time to do that. But what I want to share with you right now is that when you're able to drop into this place of peace, of quiet, of spaciousness, when you're able to just clear the decks, you can start to hear the voice of your heart, your inner voice, your inner wisdom that part of you who just knows what she knows without having to justify, without having to talk people into anything. She just knows, she just knows. And so what's called for right now in our world, in leadership, is to get out of our heads, to get out of the intellect and stop trying to figure things out and make sense of things and strategize and what's called for instead is to drop down into our inner knowing, into our inner intuition, into that part of you that just speaks the truth and knows the truth and to start trusting that even more. Because listen, there is no playbook for what's going on right now in this world. There's no playbook. Nobody actually knows what the hell they're doing. Let's be honest. We all are coming and doing the best that we can from our experiences from our, the advising that we're receiving, from the data that we're receiving, but really no one actually knows. Except what I would say is that when you can get quiet and when you can just drop down inside through mindfulness, through breathing, through listening, 
you're able to really access what's true for you and what you know that you know that you know, given your years of experience and expertise and practice. And you can stand in that truth. You can stand in that truth without having to question it, without having to justify it, just stand in it. So the example that I'll give, I know I'm not supposed to touch my face, but I did, I've been home all day and I did wash my hands just before I got on screen. Last night, as I was meditating, before I went to bed, I was thinking about you guys and I was thinking, and I was asking my heart, my intuition, the question, how can I best be of service to this community? That was the question. And this is what came forward is to get online every single day and teach these guys mindfulness practices, teach them how to drop in so that they can hear the voices of their own souls. So that's why I'm here. And I want to thank you for being with me tonight. If you know anybody who's a leader in healthcare, in biotech, in tech tech, if you know anybody who's in leadership in those three fields particularly, and they're not in this group, they probably need to be because they're emotionally intelligent. They've got a lot going on and they need to drop in and really clear the deck so that they can really hear their inner wisdom. So invite them to join us. I'd love to have them and just let them know that you're part of this and you'd love to have them join us as well. So that's your homework. And I'll be back on tomorrow in leave in the comments, the number one thing you're taking away from today. And I wish you mwah, so much love tonight. And I really want to encourage you to just keep practicing, dropping in, pay attention to your breathing and really start accessing that peace that exists inside of you every single moment. Big love.